Hey, I'm Kyle. Welcome to the channel. I want to talk to you about this Lucidity battery box that I purchased probably four or five months ago. And this thing has been great. In full disclosure, I have purchased everything that you're going to see in this video with my own money. No one is sponsoring this video. No one has sent me any products. But I wanted to tell you about this Lucidity battery box. This is what I use to power my hiker. And there are a ton of videos on this battery box. I suggest you go out and watch those for all of the specs. I'm gonna run through some of the features that I use and some of the things that I have noticed, but there are a ton of videos about this battery box. There is a battery box out that is the pro version of this that is a little bit more but I suggest you buy one of these. They're uh, about the same type of battery box as the Pro. The Pro has got a few more features like a remote head for monitoring, but I wanted to talk about how I use this battery box and how I've modded it for my use. So first thing, this thing is just a battery box. You have to buy a battery with it. I purchased a Power Queen 1000 amp hour battery uh, with for this and I went with that battery because it's got proven results they've got uh, grade A cells it's got a BMS a battery management system built into it so I bought one of those batteries I believe it cost me uh, about $235 for that battery and this battery box with a a charger, a LiPo charger, LiPo 4 charger, is going to cost you about $213. So if you add $213 and the $230, $235 Power Queen battery, you're going to come up with about $448, $450 for a, I believe it's about 1,200 watt hours of power. That is about half of what you're going to get if you buy a Blue Yeti or a Jackery or something else along those lines. But there is some, some things that you have to give up if you're going to buy this versus a Blue Yeti or a Jackery. And I'm gonna go through some of those things. Uh, but you're gonna save probably half, maybe even more than half uh, in cost. Some of the things that I love about this, this battery box is all of the outputs. I don't know if you can, you can probably see that. It's probably not, uh, actually, I've got the wrong way. This has got one, two, three, four, four outputs that you can hook up to. Now these are larger Anderson power pole connectors and you've got 175 amp hour and then one, two, three, these gray 50, 50 amp uh, connectors that all connect into the battery. This black connector here goes directly to the solar charge controller. Yes, there is a solar charge controller in here that I plug my solar array directly into this connector. I made a, an adapter. So you're gonna to have to calculate the configure or the, the cost of an adapter. These adapters are about $6 a pop. I plug my rooftop solar directly into this and this has got a 10 amp hour, I'm sorry, a 10 amp solar controller built into it, which is great. Granted, it doesn't charge my battery in full sun 100% if I drain this down quite a bit, but you know, it gets it close. The next thing I love about this battery box is it's got these uh, 12 volt adapters and it comes with two, two USB and a cigarette lighter adapter. So I went out to PowerWorks and I bought myself an Anderson power pole and I opened up the battery box and got in here and put this Anderson power pole adapter. I left the cigarette lighter adapter, actually it was over here, so I moved it to the middle, and then I kept the USB adapter. So 
that is one mod that I made and I plug my miscellaneous stuff into, I've got a breakout box that I plug into my Anderson power pole. I don't plug anything into the cigarette lighter or um, I might charge my phone off of the USB because this thing sits in the back and I can get to it because I have an open gallery in my hiker trailer. The next thing this thing has, which is a compromise, is a thousand watt inverter. So my Blue Yeti that I have sitting down here, I believe that it's got a 700 watt. And I think if you take a look at some of the other uh, power stations that you can buy that have a thousand watt or 1200 watt hours, you're gonna find that they probably have an 1800 or 2000 watt inverter. This only has an 1,000 watt inverter, which is fine with me. I don't use that much AC power whenever I'm you know, not plugged in. This is the charger that comes with the Lucidity battery box. It is geared towards uh, LiPo 4 batteries and it charges at 14.6 volts at 20 amps. And it has an Anderson 50 amp uh, plug on it plugs directly in in there and this is how I charge the battery the the power queen battery that's in there the one thing that I do not like is the solar charge controller it is already programmed for a lead acid battery I think that they are getting away from that I heard on some of the forums that they are coming with the solar charge controller char, um, configured for LiPo 4 batteries. But one of the issues is I had to buy this reader and programmer. This was $20. I'll leave a description of all this stuff in the description of the video. But I had to buy this for about $20 and had to read the solar charge controller and then uh, change some parameters, change it to lithium and then all of the lithium parameters that were programmed for lithium were good enough for my battery. So I you know, reprogrammed it, reflashed it, and it is uh, working as needed. The next thing that I bought that is gonna cost you a little bit more dough, but I think you probably need it, is a Victron Smart Shunt. I have one of those in this and I use the Victron uh, app on my phone and I am able to basically get all of the, the power consumption and uh, some great stats out of that Victron Smart Shunt. That's about $115. So after it's all said and done, I calculated up here on my piece of paper, you take the $213 battery box, you add the Power Queen $235 battery, which is $448, you add the Smart Shunt, which is $115, you are looking at $563 after it's all said and done. Now, you're probably going to have maybe $20 in connectors that you might have to buy and build. So this is not for everyone. This is for people who want to tinker and people that you know, have some DIY capabilities. If you want something that is, you know, off the shelf, you put it in the back of your RV or your hiker and you go, one of the ones off the shelf, those are, those are perfect for you. If you want to save, you know, some dollars, this is probably easily the best solution that I have found that um, is, is perfect for what I need. I was even thinking about buying a second one of these because I have a second battery uh, in my hiker, but uh, this is great. I just wanted to show you guys this. It's an option for those who want to build their own system. If you have any questions, leave a comment um, in the, in the uh, video below and I'd love to hear from you or uh, if you have one of these, if you have any experience and you've got any more mods or any comments, leave those below too. That's all I got. A little bonus here for you. These 50 amp Anderson power pole connectors, they usually come with 
the inserts or the connectors here, make sure that if you're going to make these on your own, the default, I believe, is for about six gauge wire. You can get these connectors for 10 and 12 gauge wire. And then to crimp these, you need a heavy duty crimper to crimp these. I went to Harbor Freight and just bought one of these hydraulic crimpers here that come with all of the dies and they do a very good job. So word to the wise if you're going to go down this path is you know these are pretty standard but make sure that you get the right connectors because you don't want the bigger connector you want the smaller connector i've got a bigger one here that i'll put a picture in and i'll put a picture of the smaller ones here so you want the smaller ones because you're probably going to use you know probably 10 or 12 gauge wire I wouldn't uh, I don't think you're gonna be pulling uh, all of that amperage that you need bigger wire but you might need it but uh, just keep in mind they come in different gauges so that is uh, your little bonus tip here for uh, crimping and uh, sizing the correct wire for these 50 amp power connectors